we felt that there is an opportunity to do a, an art exhibition or a project that would result in an art exhibition. And very quickly we felt that uh, branding it and designing it like a double window project makes sense and is exciting. And uh, double window meaning an opportunity for the prisoners to express whatever they want to express outside. They can shine and show their bright side, uh, but they can also express different things or their frustration. Um, and clearly, from my outsider perspective, I felt that it would also be interesting as a viewer, as an outsider, to have a look inside. So that's why the double window narrative made sense. I think by providing opportunities for people to engage in activities that are fun and that are enjoyable and allow them to express their creativity, they can see that actually that's still education and that's part of, of our job, part of my role here I think is to really try and ensure that people gain that sort of understanding that education is not just about doing a maths paper or gaining an English certificate, it's about learning about the world, learning about yourself, learning about other people um, and that is absolutely fundamental. Um, that, that to me is what education is rather than just gaining a math certificate. Yes, if you can get a certificate at the end of it, all well and good, but actually the fundamental core of education is learning about you, your place in the world and the wider world in, in general. Hopefully this exhibition will achieve that, to create a dialogue about some hard issues as well, such as, you know, how do we, how do we manage our society? You know, and how do we use, when do we use the carrot, when, when do we use the stick, you know, both of them are needed, but it's a fine balance and clearly uh, we kind of feel a little humbled by this project because I have more questions than answers and, and probably that's, that's a good thing. Well, the work that have been produced, I think, are surprisingly good, high quality. Um, the narratives behind the work are extremely strong. Um, some of the narratives will be in your face. Type of thing. Some of the narratives will make the viewers feel that, you know, it's a good thing that those guys are in prison. I hope most of the narratives will be causing um, people to reflect and actually realize that it doesn't, it doesn't take much to go on the wrong path. It's a fine line and there's a lot of positivity and as I said before, I've seen a lot of intelligence here. Um, wasn't necessarily my expectations, you know, I'm ashamed to admit, but um, I've seen a lot of intelligence and uh, it's like most of the guys are not fully equipped to deal with society. They're almost born to make some mistakes because they are missing, they're missing an element. They may be missing that they haven't been in the right social environment or whatever is the reason. Uh, it's a fine line. Uh, so hopefully the narratives will uh, make people think about, oh, I'm actually here standing at the Galales Library, having a nice cup of coffee, preparing, you know, a nice weekend. Some of those guys are on the other side of the fence. I'm going to take a moment to think about that. I think a lot of the prisoners have really um, really picked up on the theme and the, the idea of them being able to express their feelings to people in the, in the community 
in which they live in most cases. You know, it's, um, it's not often that they get that opportunity. They maybe speak to friends and family who come and visit, um, but having an opportunity to actually speak from within prison to the wider community is quite, quite a rare thing actually. So I think people have really picked up on that as well and, and have grasped that opportunity. I mean, I think the artwork produced is really from their feelings and obviously being in prison and, and everything they're going through. And, and I, th I think they've all done a great job. And I think every, hopefully everybody that comes to the exhibition will sort of see a little bit of an insight into what they, what they do here. David coming in and speaking to them every week has been, I think they've really enjoyed that. Um, and when he's saying about, you know, they're going to be, the, the, the work's been taken away, it's going to be framed and then on display. I mean, that is, that's quite a big thing for them if they've not ever been, sort of, been in that world before. For the prisoners or the artists, it's an opportunity to shine, it's an opportunity to complain, to voice, to express to bring attention to whatever they want to say. And actually, um, art is a formidable vehicle for that. Because, um, it, you know, when, I guess if you're a prisoner, a lot of options are restricted. But whatever you paint on a piece of uh, wood or a piece of paper is not. So, so in a way, it's, it's really an adequate way to communicate for them.